York Railway Station is more than just a railway hub. It's a place where history and memories intertwine, a symbol of connection, progress and the lives of countless people. Since it opened its doors in 1877, York Station has witnessed over a century of change, becoming one of the most significant landmarks in British railway history. In its early days, York Station was a marvel of engineering. At the time of its opening, it was the largest railway station in the world, a true reflection of Victorian ambition and innovation. Its soaring arches and sweeping platforms were a grand entrance to the city and a vital link between the north and south of England. The station quickly became a bustling gateway, handling the comings and goings of both people and goods in vast numbers. It wasn't just a station, it was a symbol of progress. For many, York Station became a place of firsts. The first time they stepped onto a train, the first time they left the familiar comforts of home to explore new places. Back in the days of steam engines, trains arriving in York were majestic, powerful beasts that fueled the imagination. The sight and sound of those engines left an impression on everyone, especially children, whose wide eyes followed the billowing clouds of steam as trains pulled into the station. But York Station wasn't just a place for travel, it was a setting for life's defining moments. Soldiers during the World Wars left from these very platforms, waving goodbye to families and sweethearts, some never to return. The station bore witness to tearful farewells, hopeful embraces and long-awaited reunions. Families clung to each other, knowing that the platform might be the last place they would see a loved one. The station echoed with the emotions of these moments, joy, sorrow, anxiety and relief. During World War II, York Station was hit by bombing raids, but it stood resilient, a testament to the British spirit during one of the darkest periods in history. After the war, the station played a role in bringing families back together, as soldiers returned to civilian life and trains once again became a symbol of hope, carrying people toward a brighter future. In the years that followed, York Station continued to evolve. As the age of steam gave way to diesel and electric trains, the station adapted, modernised, yet always retained its historical charm. It became a place where both the old and the new coexisted, where history lingered in the air, even as sleek, modern trains whisked passengers to their destinations. For countless people, York Station has been the backdrop for cherished memories. Many remember it as the place where they first fell in love, where they greeted a long-lost friend, or where they found solace on a quiet platform waiting for the next chapter of their lives to unfold. The station, with its unique blend of nostalgia and progress, has a way of etching itself into the hearts of those who pass through. Today, York Station is a bustling transport hub, welcoming over 11 million passengers a year. Yet, it's more than just a functional space. It holds a certain magic, a sense of continuity that links generations. The old station clock still ticks, a silent reminder of all the people who have come and gone and the countless journeys that have begun here. And while the station has modernised, it still retains its character. The grand architecture, the sweeping curves of the roof and the vast platforms continue to inspire awe. Standing in York Station, you can almost hear the whispers of the past of the steam engines, the soldiers, the families, the lovers, and the children who once stood where you stand now. York Railway Station is a place where time both stands still and moves forward. It's a place that connects us, not just to our destinations, but to our shared history. It's where stories begin and where memories live on, carried in the hearts of those who pass through. And no matter how fast the trains may travel, York Station remains a timeless part of Britain's railway legacy, always ready to welcome you, whether it's for the first time or the hundredth time.